Psalms 28, a Psalm of David. Unto thee will I cry. And that's not boo-hoo, and that's cry of prayer. O Lord, my rock. We're not to cry. I mean, Jesus said, they that are sick need a physician. But the first one we should cry to is God. Say, God, I'm not feeling well. God, I'm, I, I, I'm, do I need a doctor? Which doctor do I need? Lord God, will you help me? Lord, I'm having troubles with my family, I'm having trouble with marriage, I'm having trouble with finance. Lord, before we run to the bank, before we run to humans, we're all to cry to the Lord. Now we're going to make another statement here. 28 chapters in the Psalms, 150. I'll cry unto thee, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. That's Jehovah in the, in the Old Testament. There he is. That's God Almighty. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My rock. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 6.13. And I hate to bash religions, but the Bible names them. Jesus named them. Paul named them. I'm going to name them. And 613. That's the wrong one. First, First Corinthians 10 4. That's it. First Corinthians 10 4. That's the one I want. The Corinthians. First Corinthians 10 4. Let's see what let's see what scripture was scripture. Studying to show thyself approved. I don't want to be made ashamed. And all this drink that same spiritual drink. Talk about Israel in the wilderness. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. Okay. In the wilderness. And that rock was Christ. That's Jesus Christ before he was born. Jesus Christ was before he was born. He became man when he was in the womb of Mary. But as God, he's always been. And in the Old Testament, he shows up usually as the angel of the Lord. Also shows up as the angel of the Lord after his death, burial, and resurrection. After he was conceived. But look at here. Verse 1 of chapter 28. The Lord, my rock. Paul says that rock is Christ. Lord. I'm sorry, Jehovah Witnesses, you got it wrong. Jesus is God. Jesus was God before he was even the man Jesus. There it is. Scripture was scripture. Be not silent to me. David says, Lord, I want an answer. I'm praying to you, Lord. I want you to answer me. At least if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Death. I need a response for an answer, Lord, or I'm going to die. I'm going to fall. Hear the voice of my supplications. The enemy is come into David's presence. David's like, I need help, and I need to know what to do. When I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands. Now, see, that's not Pentecostal. David's got his hands up right now. Lord, you got to fill my hands. Now he's not doing it for his show. You can raise your hands to the prayer. Toward the Holy Oracle. That's the Holy of Holies. That's where the Ark of the Covenant is. That's the Holy, Holy Oracle. It's not a building yet. It, it's a tent for David. This is where answers come from. When you turn to God, I will cry unto the Lord. The answers come from the Lord. Draw me not away with the wicked. Don't count me with them, Lord God, please. I'm one of yours. And with the workers of iniquity. I'm a division. That's them. This is me, Lord. Which seek peace to their neighbors. All right. They, they're wonderfully talked. They, they, they smooth like butter. They're, 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 they're flatter. Proverbs will talk much about. 
But mischief is in their hearts. There's a double heart. There's a double tongue. That's Joab and Judas. Oh, I just love you, brother. I just so. And then when that person's away, then they, they backstab, they gospel. I've had that happen to me many times in the church. Give them, the wicked, the iniquity brewers, according to their deeds. And you say, oh, David, how cruel are you? That's Galatians 6 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. David's quoting scripture before the scripture is even quoted. Jesus comes along and says, pray for your enemies. The church comes along and says, pray for your enemies. Help them. Old Testament, go get them, Lord. And according to the wickedness of their endeavor, wicked unto wicked, evil unto evil, is what he's saying. Give them after the works of their hand. Don't give them good. Jesus said God makes it to rain on the just and unjust. The Gospels is not the New Testament. Hebrews says the Testament is the death of the testator. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus Christ has not died until after the final chapters of each of the books. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is a transition from the Old Testament into the New Testament. <coughs> the Old Testament, we got David, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Jesus like, calm down, love him, help him. And in the church age, John tells us, love the brethren. And to love those that, you know, were not brethren. I don't love me, you know, you fellow, I mean, you're to have a division. There's a difference between the, the testament. And one of them is the attitude to the enemy. God said as far as Israel, both Old Testament, Gospels, and the New Testament, if you curse Israel, I'm going to curse you. He says, render to them their deserts. And that's where we get the expression, just deserts. Let them get their just, comes out of the Bible. And some modern Bibles don't have it like that. So if you got a modern Bible, don't go use an expression out of the Bible when it's not in your Bible. Because they regard, regard not the works of the Lord. Lord, go get them. Destroy them. Why? Because, Lord, they're not listening to you. Now, when David says the wicked and iniquity, he's not talking about a man who's work, who walks with God in the Old Testament. And, you know... And he sins unwillfully. He sins willfully. He's talking about those who just, man, their, their whole life is dedicated against God. Their whole life is dedicated against the children of Israel. They hate David with a passion. They hate David. They, they hate David's God. And David says, they hate you, God, and they hate me because, because of God. I want you to go get them. I want you to destroy them. And that's what God told the Israelites when they went in the land. Everybody who's in that land, the seven nations, destroy them. Today, we're to witness to them. We're to help them. According to the wickedness of their endeavors, give them after the work of their hands, render to them just deserve, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. And they'll say by chance something happened. Well, Israel, the miracles didn't happen to Israel. It was by chance. The enemy was tired that day. The, the creation of all this creation, it was made by a big bang. It, it wasn't God the creator. They're not acknowledging what God has done and what God is doing. Uh, how'd you get so rich? Well, I, I played the right horse. I, I did the right stock market. I worked hard at work or I swindled some, you know, and it's not giving God the credit. They answer the people who prayed for you. Well, uh, you know, how do well, the doctors gave me the medicine? No, oh, there are people who prayed for you. Not giving God the rightful due to God. That's what David's saying. Blessed be the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. David, 
you're contradicting yourself. Oh, you got trouble today. He has heard my supplication. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my God. Be not silent to me. What, what's going on, David? Are you a fruitcake? Are you, what are you? And listen, I, my life, I had that. Lord God, you're not listening to me. And boom, the Lord listens and does something. And answers the prayer. Oh, Lord God, you know, it's just not worth it. And the Lord puts something. Oh, okay, Lord, thank you. And it could be that quick or it could be an hour, six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours a day, a couple days a week. I love in the ministry that we have is we've had for a long, long time. We, we go to the farmer's market and I preach the gospel and pass out gospel tracts. Something ha whatever is something happens, we go to church Sunday morning, and boom, the pastor out of that pulpit mentions something. Hey, that's what happened yesterday, and the pastor's not there. You know, be going through the uh, Wednesday night at our church. The, the pastor goes through many books of the Bible, and he doesn't do them in order. He goes here and here. He wants you to get the Bible. He wants you to learn where the place in the Bible. I'll be reading my Bible. Oh wow, that's what we read last night. <laughs> Or I'll do a study like this on the video, or I'll do a study like this, and boom, that's exactly what I was just studying. And that's God saying, hey, I'm on your side. And I say to the Lord, you know, I got prayers. I know you got prayers. I hear you. Why didn't you answer them? Not ready yet. Or I may have said no, or not now. David's the same way. Lord, why don't be silent? And he says, Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard my voice of my supplication. And that runs throughout David in the Psalms. Lord, you're not listening. Okay, Lord, thank you for listening. You know what that teaches us? God may not answer us all the time. God may not in answer us inst instantly. Psalms teaches us, what's it say in verse 14 and 27? Wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. David says, be patient when it comes to your prayers. The Lord is my strength. That's your inner part of you. And my shield. That's outer. That's your outer. Your outside. You don't have a shield inside. You have you carry a shield. Shields for defense. My heart, that's you, trusts in him. God. And I am helped. We read that about the other, I think last night, 27. Help. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. And when God answers the prayer, when God helps us and God takes care of us, we ought to have rejoicing and giving God the glory because God glory. Don't ever, when God answers your prayer, don't you dare give the glory to anything else. That's a sin. You know, you say, Lord, I, I, I got this need. I know I, I have this prayer. Help me, Lord. And somebody brings you that, that, that need. Oh, I just want to thank you very much for, for, for doing this for me. Now, I want to thank you very much that the Lord has sent you to answer my prayer. I want to let you know that you have been an answer of prayer by God for me. I want to thank God and I want to thank you. Rejoice, greatly rejoice, and with my song, sing unto the Lord. I will praise him. The Lord is my is their strength. In verse 7, he's my strength. In verse 8, he's their strength. He is the saving strength of his anointed. That anointed is Christ. That's what anointed means. That's what Jesus means. Christ. God protected Jesus. Several times in the book of in the in the gospels. They were, they, one time they picked up stones and Jesus knew what was going to happen and he knew how to get out of it. He knew that his time wasn't yet and he would get out of those situations. If Jesus was a mere man without God, according to the Gospels, he would have died a lot early than he was supposed to die. And he did it without a crystal ball. He did it without a Ouija board. He did it without tarot cards. He did it without reading uh, leaves. He did it because he is God. 
He didn't open up the he didn't open up his horoscope every morning. You no, know? he knew. And the Bible says in the gospel, he knew their thoughts. He knew what they were thinking. The Lord is their strength. My strength, verse 7. Their strength, verse 8. And he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, Israel. And bless thy heritage, Israel, the land. Feed them also. That's going to be the tribulation at the end. A place prepared for the Jew. The millennium. And lift them up forever. There's the second coming of Jesus Christ. That strength. Their strength. That's Jesus coming back. Listen, when those Jews, if it's Salem, Peter, wherever God that place has for them, they have no strength. They got the entire world except for a few nations against them and ready to conquer over them and destroy them. 